Captain John F. Manning, Jr., and then my first training squadron was VT-1 at Softly Field, and uh, got through there in about, I don't know, 16 weeks, and, well, I mean, your first time is a VT-1 in a, in a T-34A then, you know, which was a reciprocating engine, not a, a turboprop like it is today, or was. Uh, you know, it's, it's I'm, I'm, hard, I'm having a hard time uh, uh, remembering that. I mean, you're in with instructors in the back seat, you get into it, and, and when you first get into it, things happen fast. But, you know, uh, you know, he, uh, I can't even remember where they even give it to you to take it off. But, you know, he does all the radio communications and softly had a lot of non-radio transmissions just because there's so much traffic there. But the instructor gets it out at the end of the runway, and I don't remember whether I took it off or not. I wanted to go to Jets, and so I felt fortunate when I got to go to Meridian, Mississippi, and fly the, then it was the T2A, which was a single-engine T2. The first time I got into a T2, and, uh, you know, so the, so the first time you get into that, you know, you, fly, you have about... By the time you finish the, the VT-1 and the T-34, you have about 25 hours of flying time. And then you go to the T-2, which is another airplane. And, uh, but now, you're in an ejection seat, and you're wearing an oxygen mask. And, uh, and I remember the oxygen mask, and it was the old Navy mask, and then it was a big bulbous thing. Well, all of a sudden, you can't see anything unless you turn your head and look around, and you can't see. And you also had to, and you also have to make the radio transmissions to taxi and take off and all that kind of stuff. And, and that was uh, at first I thought, well, man, this is hard, you know. But uh, again, it's it's you know you adapt to that to that thing being in front of your face. But that was the thing that got me the most. I couldn't see anything, you know. You're used to look just you're just looking down. You can't. You have to look to the side or whatever, but uh, and then you know afterwards, once you get in it and you've done it a few times, it doesn't bother you anymore. You know, I actually went through uh, Meridian, Mississippi, almost as fast as I went through uh, softly, uh, and there were many more flights and many more actions, but uh, time went fairly fast, and uh, about uh, two weeks before I was about to finish at Meridian. Uh, there was the July 4th weekend, and uh, I actually drove home, got married, and came back. <laughs> and, and it was the way, I, we thought we'd be finished it and be, be between assignments, but long story short, my, uh, my wife spent uh, 10 days in a hotel in, in downtown Meridian while I finished up flight training.